So hello and welcome group number two. So this is going to be the June prediction pick a card reading for group number two. So what I'm doing here is a little bit different than the previous um, predictions that we've done for May. I am going to be helping to look at the past the present moment now and the future for the June prediction. So the future would be the June prediction. What is going to be happening in the month of June for you? Now, I am also have some um, animal tarot that we're going to use. I am not going to pre-shuffle that. Um, it's going to basically, it's been shuffled pretty well. I'm going to just pick from the top pretty much because you guys have been saying that you wanted me to not pre-shuffle and just to kind of see that, which I was completely okay with. So without further ado, we're going to look at the past, the present, and then the future for the June predictions if you chose group number two. Okay. So we have the spider. So be meticulous and patient. So clearly group number two, when I was shuffling these, I kind of had sensed that there is something that has been weighing very heavy on your mind, something that you can't get off of your mind, something that I feel like seems to come up in either the dream state, um, when you are sleeping, either when you're just doing something out of the norm. Um, you can be cooking dinner, you could be going to the gym, you could be working out, and something just comes into your mind. Something is nagging at your soul to change or to fix or to do something of that nature. Again, we can see what the other other cards kind of say, I can't really say right now from spirit if it has to do with family, if it has to do with um, a relationship of some kind, a friend, a co-worker, a spouse, a lover. I can't really tell specifically what the situation is at this point, but it's basically telling you that in the past you had to be so meticulous and patient, but in the present something must be still nagging at you. I feel also too, group number two, that it could be a missed opportunity. So we'll see what that is about. So we have the almond tree which is earth the queen of pentacles so sagittarius and capricorn so logical and practical advice from a woman on money matters okay so basically what that's saying to me is it's making it very clear so you yourself could be the person who had the wisdom or advice to give to someone else um if this has to do with financial implications such as money such as abundance or manifestation that could have been an issue in the past. So maybe there have been some struggles for you, group number two, with money, with trying to find a career, keep a career. I mean, the past few months with um, COVID kind of ending and then, you know, with new with newer things kind of resurfacing with the vaccine and all of that, perhaps that was weighing heavy on you also to try and find a career, try to balance out some money, money issues. So you yourself could be that person or you can also need to or have sought advice from a woman or the divine feminine in regards to this and that that is where you have to be meticulous and patient. I'm also sensing from spirit two group number two that you all could have tried to get a different career or get a different job and it just kind of maybe didn't work out with divine timing for you or what you thought should be happening. So that could have also been the situation in the past. Let's take a look at the present and see where that's kind of going. Okay, so we also have fire energy here. So reckless actions lead to conflict. So if you are either an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, um, this this reading could definitely be for you, group number two, because here's what we're having. We're having a lot of earth energy, but we're having that whole Sagittarius and Capricorn situation. But now we are getting that fire energy. So you were kind of down to earth a little bit in this whole situation. I'm really strongly sensing group number two. This has to do with a job or a career. It has to do not so much with family, but you being able to provide for yourself, provide for a family 
So clearly now you have been meticulous and patient enough. I can also sense that there could be a settlement. This could be a legal issue to group number two. We're going to check that out and see if that is the case or not. Um, but basically these reckless actions, this passion, this fire that you have in you is leading to conflict. So something is not translating with the other people that you surround yourself, group number two. So hopefully in June, we can kind of get this to resolve and see what happens with the conflict. Okay, so we clearly have a lot of fire energy happening here. So we have the more fire success. Guidance by someone with higher knowledge. Create something lasting and worthwhile. Again, we have Cancer and Leo. We have the King of Wands, okay? Now, this is a clear indication to me that a couple of things are happening here. Mostly with career, mostly with your aspirations, with what you think you should be doing in life. So this can mean... That because we have so much fire energy, basically one of two things are happening, group number two. You're coming to this reading because you are burnt out. You are burnt out with trying to figure out career, job, money matters, the rest of your life. Where are your passions and pursuits? Where are they? In this case, it was about a woman. Um, I take that as being divine feminine. Here we have a situation where you have to ask for help. You have to ask someone who has higher knowledge um, to actually help you with this fire energy, help you to balance this out. Because the thing is, and this again could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, an Aries, you have so many ideas, group number two, floating around in your head right now of where your future is going to take you. Now, I'm strongly sensing also, group number two, that this career or this job or what you are looking to do with the rest of your life is not not translating to the career or job that you currently have. That is okay because it can change. But in order to go into this new venture, this new situation, group number two, you have to ask somebody who is knowledgeable. You have to kind of be meticulous and kind of look through all of your options before you jump into possibly a career you're not familiar with, a job you're not familiar with. I'm also sensing to group number two that if you all were, for example, an accountant and you dealt with you know accounts for a while or payments or money or things like that and then now all of a sudden you switch around and you want to be a baker that is what I'm sensing is happening and then there needs to be a translation between what your life purpose is or what you want to be changing up in a career or in your situation versus what you are kind of um, already in or the career that you're already in so in the present kind of calming that down, calming that inner passion, calming that will to kind of cause conflicts. I'm also sensing with legalities, if you're trying to start your own business, money and funds, that type of thing. So don't put so much pressure on yourself, group number two, to move forward with these career or job pursuits if it's not meant to happen and kind of meditate and pray and learn from spirit. So possibly in June, it could be good to figure out a plan, figure out how you're going to have this new career. Ask someone for more advice who is highly knowledgeable. Um, again, a lot of that fire energy, this could also be an indication that you could be working on things in June, but this could translate to July and August because we have that Cancer and that Leo energy with this card. So you could be, you know, transferring that type of energy from June because June is mostly Gemini season, then we move straight into Cancer season at the end of it. This could could be where you really start to culminate this future. So in June, you could be working on things, but this future is realized in either July or August. Oh boy. So you have love, true love and fidelity. Now this could be a couple different things. Unlike the first um, prediction. This has to do with love in the sense of not a seductive love or not a passionate um, ec ecstasy type of love, but a love with yourself, a true love, a, a truth that comes through a commitment, something of that nature. So what this shows to me that if you truly follow your path and your life purpose, group number two, in June, you are going to find that love and that truth 
trust and that connection within yourself, but also in your career, in your job, in your life path. You are going to have that spark of love come to you in a different type of way. It might not be a romantic love. It just may be a love of life or where you're at, a love of career, a love of commitment, a love of having something that you can call your own. We have the tal taliad. I like probably butchered that, but this is basically, um, in, in, <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't talk. E emanation, creation, formation, and action. So this is the emperor, you guys, which is awesome. We have that Aries fire energy. Um, you know, decisive rationality will take you all the way, which is exactly what I said. You gain the knowledge from someone. Again, if you guys are fire signs, this, and you pick this group, this is really speaking to you. If you gain the knowledge and the wisdom that you need to, you will be able to make the right choice and just feel that instant connection with this career or job you're supposed to have. Your inner strength enables you to lead through action, organization, and that's a clear indication that you are going to be in an organization that you feel karmically and spiritually you need to be a part of group number two. You are tired of not being a part of something that is not going to fulfill you emotionally, but can also give you money, can also sustain your life. So in the future of June, you are going to be surrounded with a lot of love, a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. But this fire energy is going to propel you forward to action. You have had enough time to wait. And now you want to see where that's going to take you. So let's pull some tarot to see what's going on. So we have the six of winners. So with this is basically the rescue cat. So the challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead, which is a perfect indication that this could be about money. This could be about abundance. Do you have enough? Did you have enough? And it sounds to me, you guys, like you were really struggling in the past few months. You've really been going through it. You might have not had all the money. You might have not had the opportunities that you once had in you were trying to work through those and trying to be patient. You know, you could have tried to put money down for something. Spirit's really letting me know that group number two, you could have tried to put money down for something or try to get a home or try to get a car or try to get a different situation to better yourself. And that just fell through. It just didn't happen. But the thing is, is moving forward. That is the past. You have moved forward at this time. You've been patient. You've been waiting. You are ready to move forward. We have the King of Summer, warm-hearted, devoted, loving, faithful. That's probably yourself. A trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice. Oh, you guys, spirit, I just love when spirit has those synchronicities from someone who speaks directly from the heart. Now, what did this card say here? That you needed to seek advice mostly from a woman, a divine feminine energy to seek what you needed to start you on this path. And here you go. You have a trustworthy person relationship. They're speaking from the heart. This person has come in to kind of give you this message. So basically, this person group number two has told you straight out your career, your job, your love life, whatever the situation is, it's not affording you anything. You have to be able to move forward. You have to find that fire energy inside to move forward, to go forward. And this person is clearly giving you this advice or clearly even telling you maybe the methods of your money are not working for you either. And you need to find a different situation with that also. Um, so clearly that person might have indicated that. We have the queen of summer, which this is a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful and don't ignore your own needs while caring for others, which is a clear indication of 
the lack of abundance. So when you yourself, group number two, feel that lack of abundance or have felt that in the past, be it with money, resources, your time, your energy, you have really kind of put yourself on the back burner during these times. And that is apparent even if you have a family, a spouse, a different situation. You have really, really put yourself on the back burner during all of this situation and you have not cared enough for yourself but it's explaining that if you have the courage to kind of move forward, trust completely, trust that spirit has a way, group number two, and be mindful that you don't ignore your own needs, then you can move forward. So it's at that point where it's kind of telling you, listen, don't ignore the need to rest. Don't ignore the need to take time to meditate or pray or to do some yoga, to kind of have self-care, something along those lines. You might guys might not do yoga, group number two, but something, go to the gym, take care of your yourself. Just because all of this is happening doesn't mean that you needed to stop your own life to get somewhere, group number two. So moving to the present. Oh, look at him. The Prince of Summer, Cinderella. Here we go. So romantic, flirtatious, introspective, and enchanting. A deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your mind. And this is interesting too, because we come from the money, the abundance, the question of career. So now if you are taking it to a different level, group number two, you are also having an unexpected fiery type of romance in the present moment, which you could have never expected probably group number two, because you were so busy thinking about your own future, the future possibly of your family, the, the the, the possibility of a new career, a new job, situation with money. Now this romance is coming in in the present moment and it is making you question where this fire energy is going, what the conflict, the, the conflict within yourself. Do I choose a career in money over this whirlwind romance that I'm undergoing and how can I translate that or gain the knowledge that I need to make the appropriate decision? which you know that obviously in the future in June that's going to end up being love. So we have your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is presenting to you. Be open to investigating opportunities that come your way, which is a perfect example of the more, which gaining knowledge, asking someone who knows. You have to pray and meditate. So this love that you may be receiving, group number two, in the present or in June, is coming from divine experience. It's coming from a divine place. The person who you are wrapped up with in this present moment, even though you could be focusing on money, your career, your job, yourself, your aspect, the thing is that is not going to stop spirit from putting you on the path of where you need to go, group number two. So if you are in this state and you're wondering, okay, now that I have this whirlwind romance, what if is this true? Is this not true? You're doing all this second guessing and talking and, and creating inner conflict, group number two, that you can't can't see it for how divinely inspiring it is, how beautiful it is. Um, you know, questioning the gift of the universe is not necessarily very, very helpful to moving you forward. And that could also be the inner conflict that just if you simply slowed down and were able to understand, okay, this is the situation, then you can easily move forward and know that spirit has divine timing. Spirit knows what is okay for you. Of course, the three of summer. So we have the hummingbird. Very, very spiritual. Um, spiritual, the hummingbird is. You have an exciting reason to celebrate such as an... Oh, okay. So we so we are going here, people. Uh, group number two. From this situation with this whirlwind romance, this love, this, this situation. Now, here's the other thing. You could have been thinking about this also, too, in the past, group number two, about how it's going to affect your money, your career 
secure your position, things of that nature. Now we're moving into the present and into June where you are finding this. And now look at what we have here. Oh, an engagement, a wedding, a graduation or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. Again, group number two in June. This is a divine time. This is a divine time for the path that you are meant to to be on. Do not cause inner conflict with yourself, group number two, because you are meant to go forward. We have love. That's clear indication. If you're having a marriage, an engagement, something of that nature, it's moving right to there. <laughs> Spirit, come and talk to me. So we have love bird, group number two. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Yes, you are. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. And what does the tally say there? That you have to let divine timing and your inner strength enables you through action. Through action, group number two. So it could have started out really, really like struggling for abundance, struggling for money, struggling for a career or a job. But at the end of the day, divine timing is showing this true love to you, group number two. You just have to be patient. Don't have the inner conflict within yourself because love is coming to you. You just have to be patient. We're getting all kinds of bird references here also. So we have the dove. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love, the rebirth of a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. So clear indication here, clear indication group number two. If you are choosing this for your June prediction, love is in the air in June. Love is it for you. Either you are going to become engaged married, have a very, very deep connection with someone, you're going to have a situation that questions about your career, your job, you can meet this person at your career or new job. You can definitely, definitely sense and spirits like screaming to me like marriage, wedding bells, love, marriage, wedding bells, love. It's insane um, how, how much this is going. Or you could just have romance, love, romance and love, love, love everywhere. So if you came here for the June prediction and you chose group number two, just walk away from this reading if you can't remember anything else with love is in the air, love, love love and that's it we have the last which is the queen of spring and this is so sweet because it's the same picture here and she's got her little kittens so here's the thing hopefully this in june can also be this too that you are talented brilliant independent and charming and look at where we came from we came from the spider where you had to be meticulous and patient you were dealing with all this in the past and now you're just the queen of spring here so we have don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams very 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 important in this section. Also, group number two, manifesting your dreams. You have the strength and the ability to organize, to get this organized. You may have sacred pri have several priorities vying for your attention all at once, but you can do it. Group number two, you can do it. So essentially what this means is you could be having a marriage, you could be having a love, a romantic love, you can have a career. Group number two, if you came here looking for the June prediction, you can have it all. The thing is, is that you have to organize what is most important to you. Where do you want abundance and manifestation to come from in the month of June? How do you want love to enter into your life in the month of June? And these conflicts, you know, again, this 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 conflict within yourself that things cannot be beautiful, things cannot be made whole, things cannot be real, needs to go out the window. From June into July, into August, all of this is going to take action, group number two. It's going to change you. You are going to be this little Persian, Persian cat here with just everything that you have wanted. You may not have seen it in the past, but that does not mean, group number two, that this could not be your future. And June may be the month for you to start realizing that this is what you've wanted. You've wanted to have this life of abundance and of prosperity 
and now you're getting that chance. You had that chance with a great love. You had that chance to move forward, group number two, be it in business ventures and money and things that you want to pursue. So very much all good things. Group number two, I hope that this reading did help for the June predictions. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me to know if the pick a card readings should be continuing. And as always, if you haven't seen the Destiny pick a card reading, I strongly suggest that you guys go check that out on my channel because that actually can kind of tell you a little bit more about your destiny overall. And that is a pick a door, pick a card reading. So go and check that out. But I hope to talk to you all soon.